Well, tonight we are taking one family's questions to police regarding a two month old car on car hit and run that remains unsolved. Earlier today, Channel 2's Claudine Ewing brought you the emotional interview with the victim who nearly died. Tonight, Erica Brecker asks police what's next. Erica. Mary Alice, the family feels there were enough witnesses on June 26th and enough damage caused by the crash that police should have had enough evidence to arrest someone by now. But Buffalo police say it's more complicated than that. It's been two months since Will Jones nearly died when he was struck on Maston Avenue near East Utica. He remains in the hospital. The driver who hit him remains free. Where does the case stand? Well, currently the case sits with our accident investigation unit. What stands out in this hit and run to us is that officers found the car almost immediately. The police report even says the owner of the car was found inside a Harlow Place address, but would not come to the door to speak with police. So why was that not enough for police to be able to compel that person to come out? You have to be able to identify the driver of the vehicle. As I've said in other interviews before, you can't charge the vehicle of the crime. You have to charge the driver of the car, not even the owner. Please just find out who did this and why they would run away. What can you say to that family? Again, I, I feel for any victim who is innocently struck by a vehicle for doing nothing wrong. I, I can't begin to imagine the pain and the toll that that takes on somebody and their family. Trust me, we want to make an arrest in these cases the moment they happen. But unfortunately, they are complicated cases. There's a lot of evidence that needs to be worked through and collected. And again, I think you see in most of these cases, some take longer than others, but they generally do get resolved with somebody being held accountable. According to the accident report, a man driving a Dodge was speeding on Maston when he hit Jones's car, which ended up crashing into a tree. Lieutenant Ronaldo says they do have a person of interest in this case, but basically they don't have enough proof yet to arrest him. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.